Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera uh, In this video, I would like to show to you how are we going to create a circle in AutoCAD So, uh, there are a few types of circle that we can uh, create Kalau you perhatikan, eh, kalau you pergi kepada each, uh, circle ni Sama juga seperti mana sebelum ni kita belajar bukan online It's under Home tab dan kalau you expand the circle kita ada banyak jenis kita ada center radius we do have center diameter 2 point 3 point tangent tangent radius dan juga tangent 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 so we will uh, we will go through with all of these one by one okay first of all the center radius so let's say i'm going to just pick the center radius and uh, If you refer to our command line, it's stated over a specified center point. So we can just simply click anywhere since we do not have any sketch yet. So we can just simply click anywhere here. Just click. And then we need to specify okay, uh, the radius. Okay, as you can see over there, the the dotted line, yang garisan putus-putus tu kan, dia menunjukkan bermula daripada center point of kepada ke bahagian uh, radius radius bulatan tersebut let's say I'm going to make it uh, the radius is let's say 100 just key in 100 then press enter it's too small so I'm going to zoom it ok alright ok so let's say Again, I would like to show to you a few more. This is the most common type eh, yang kita akan gunakan center radius or center diameter. Ini yang memang selalulah kita akan guna pakai di dalam AutoCAD lah, both of this. Okay, but normally center radius lah yang yang yang, yang saya normally saya perhatikan. Eh, saya perhatikan student banyak pakai center radius ini. It's okay, so I would like to show you uh, again about the center radius. Let's say I pick the center radius and let's say I bring my cursor. I would like to create another one more circle small circle kat bagian dalam ni so if I so it means that I need to find out my my center point kalau katakan you bring your cursor pada center of the circle you tak nampak tak nampak uh, tanda ataupun simbol center point ni so what you need to do is that you just need to bring your cursor just touch sahaja perimeter ni perimeter bulatan luar ni just touch sahaja okay? tak, jangan klik just touch sahaja so Simbol center point ni akan 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 terpapar ha? Alright, so Kalau tak ada lah, kalau you just bring your cursor Kalau katakan you dah bermain-main Cursor you kat sini, dia tak 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 uh, tak wujud juga Tak appear juga, this symbol So just need to bring again, anywhere, anywhere Just touch sahaja Touch sahaja uh, perimeter bulatan ni So, nanti dia akan keluar lah eh? uh, Simbol center, center point So, let's I'm going to start here You have specify center point, so This is my center point, and let's say I'm going to make it um, 60. Okay, the radius is 60. Just press 60, then enter. There you are. Okay, I'm going to create few more, but this time I'm going to this. Yang ni tadi center radius. Kali ni saya nak guna ke center diameter pula. Okay, kita tengok. center diameter. Click. Let's see my center point. I'm going to make it okay here as my center point and then I'm going to drag my my cursor oh, so I'm, I want to make it a bigger bit the 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 size of the 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 circle so katakan I nak buat okay kali ni kalau you perhatikan walaupun garisan putus-putus tu bermula pada tengah sini tetapi kita dah ambil diameter tadi kan alright so kalau you perhatikan diameter ok diameter so jangan refer pada yang awal ni kita, kita refer pada yang yang selepas ini lepas ini yang tadi kita buat yang ni yang tadi kita buat so now we going to refer to this one diameter so diameter dia let's say I'm going to make it 300 tiga kosong kosong enter alright So, yang membezakan dia hanya radius dan diameter je. Buat kalau yang tadi ni, okay, dia akan tanya radius. Dan kalau yang ni pula nanti, center diameter ni akan tanya diameter. Alright. So, let's say I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to create few more by using center diameter. Click this one. 
let's say this time I'm going to start my center point here nampak itu quadrant quadrant ni apa kan maksud quadrant quadrant tu dia bermaksud dia pada ujung-ujung ujung-ujung ni ujung-ujung circle ni here and here there are four quadrant dalam circle okey normally quadrant ni untuk circle circle okey not circle ni memang untuk 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 quadrant lah uh, quadrant ni untuk circle lah alright so one two three four dan kalau you perhatikan simbol dia uh, macam tu simbol dia okey macam uh, diamond punya simbol kan alright so um, let's say i'm going to pick here quadrant here as my center point of uh, my uh, of my circle so i just simply click this one and let's say the diameter kalau you perhati pun dotted line kan ok dotted line tu ok the diameter from one point to another point alright so kita letak let's say i'm going to make it uh, 40 there you are alright and let's say i'm going to create few more here uh, you boleh copy je kalau dengan uh, you nak create uh, pada setiap quadrant pada bahagian circle luar ni setiap quadrant nampak eh? kalau I, you, I press escape so kalau you just uh, click this one nampak ada warna biru kereta kat ni semua adalah merupakan quadrant untuk circle ni so katakan uh, I would like to create um, three more one two three uh, on each quadrant of this uh, outer circle with the same uh, small circles diameter or radius so I just simply can copy lah kalau sama click then enter I'm going to start from this quadrant to this quadrant so you have to make sure that your auto on lah eh. kalau tak on pun tak apa pasal dia akan automatically detect for you nampak ok but I much more prefer to on my auto then click here then once confirm just press escape button Let's say, uh, tadi saya cakap nak buat tiga kan, tak apalah saya buat dua saja. Ya, kerana apa? Kerana both of these, saya nak buat different size of the uh, diameter or radius of the circle. Let's say again, I'm going to circle. Uh, okay, katakan saya nak buat radius pula. Go to radius. And then, I'm going to find out my quadrant. This is nearest. Kita bukan nak nearest. Kita nak quadrant. Click here. And this time radius. Radius, I'm going to make it radius, let's say, 35. Enter. And then I just simply copy. I'm going to copy this one. Don't forget to press enter. Then they ask us our base point, our starting point. Kita nak pindahkan, atau kita nak gerakkan uh, uh, circle yang kita copy ini. So from this point to this point. So once after confirm, just press escape button in order to exit from any activities. Okay, that is about the uh, center radius as well as center diameter so now we move to the next which is two point and three point apa kena masuk on two point and three points ni ok two point and three points let's say I'm going to have two points point two kita boleh dapat daripada mana you just, you just expand here draw expand this one here eh, dah dekat sini so click this one let's say I just simply draw I just simply click anywhere one and two ok and then ok lah, I, I buat banyak-banyak sikit lah, senang nanti kan kita nak, nak buat kerja ok, so I just simply uh, just pick, I just simply pick sebenarnya kalau you nak letak dia punya coordinate pun tak ada masalah eh. coordinate X dan Y, tapi I just simply click uh, uh, anywhere and then I just press escape button then I'm going to proceed with all with the uh, two point circle, so if I we choose this one, two point mana kita check mana-mana dua point one Two. so bermaksud dia punya diameter ataupun radius adalah bergantung kepada distance daripada satu point kepada satu point let's say, uh, one more time so, two point let's I'm going to make here, yang point kecil ni here one and another one is uh, over here two ok, kalau three, three points ok, let's say we would like to create three points so I can just go to here three points, one two and this is the third point first point, second point, third point alright and let's see ok, I'm going to pick another, I'm going to create another one more point here because I would like to create uh, I would like to use three points of circle 
we just left another two moss point one two so i'm going to create another one moss point which is some somewhere somewhere around here okay then i'm going to press escape exit from the uh, from the activities so i'm going to proceed with three point one two three it is as simple as that okay so what we talk about three point or two point it doesn't mean that kita hanya boleh menyebabkan penggunaan point kita boleh juga katakan this i'm going to have one line here i just simply draw a line i'm going to auto off my this my command here we auto auto going to off it so let's say i'm going to have one line here another one more line here and let's see another one more line which is look at our somewhere around here okay point it means that any point it doesn't mean that tadi yang point hanya point ni saja eh i tunjuk kat pada you tadi okay we can just simply create let's say two point i can take this end point and point pun point juga kan so one point the first point second point okay another one more time okay two point first point let's say i would like to take this quadrant as my second point my second point all right again two point this i'm going to pick uh this end point as my first point the second one they say i'm going the second point is this quadrant is my second point okay also can so it is not necessary to have only points but uh any points uh which belongs to line ataupun any circle pun boleh juga macam itu kita kan let's i'm going to have i just have to draw a circle here okay so uh, let's i'm going to use a center radius center radius and i just simply create any circle without uh indicate uh the dimensions just simply draw like this okay so i can also create the two point let's say uh from the uh <coughs> uh upper let's say i'm going to create from this quadrant as i showed to you just now to this quadrant all right any point any point even though let's say if i would like to create nearest nearest also can okay nearest based to from here nearest to this nearest Okay, uh, I'm going to create. Let's say for this time, I'm going to have a circle at the center of these three circles, All right? This circle which I've which I've created just now. So definitely, I I need to use tangent as my object snap. Okay, they automatically select kita punya tangent for for this uh, for this uh, circle this circle as well as this circle so i'm going to proceed with this one then go to three point out i can't use two point okay kalau two point ni dia tak akan cover ke semua point tangent point untuk ketiga-tiga ni so saya tak akan dapat hasilkan lah kalau guna two point two point i tak akan dapat hasilkan bulatan pada tengah-tengah ni i nak buat ada kalau bukan bulatan tu berada pada tengah-tengah di sini so i'm going in that case i'm going to use three point so uh once after you dah pilih 3 point ni 3 point kalau if you bring your cursor di pada bahagian uh, perimeter of this uh, circle you tak nampak simbol itu simbol you tak nampak apa simbol tangent eh itu adalah simbol ni simbol nearest ok kalau you bawa ini adalah merupakan simbol quadrant ok so tak ada simbol tangent alright kalau kita nak tengok simbol tangent tu macam mana kita go to tools after settings and make sure you select object snaps tangent mana tangent okay tangent should be like this macam ni sepatutnya dia punya symbol alright so <coughs> again i'm going to pick here three point and let's see kata memang tak ada you jangan sampai sini eh pasal kita nak buat circle kat sini so bermaksud point dia lebih kurang area ni lah area ni area ni dan area sini jangan pick sini sini nanti dia akan buat bulatan so jangan pick kat area sini pula nanti ok so nanti bulatan tu dia akan dia akan ambil bulatan besar pula ok so now uh, sekiranya tak ada 
macam ni tak ada kan so what you need to do is that you press control button on your keyboard okay then do not release that button yet lepas tu you right click on your mouse uh, bila you dah bila uh, semua ni dah terpapar baru you can release your control button apa ni semua ini adalah merupakan shortcut untuk you punya object snap ok so you we go and find out tangent tangent ok first I'm going to make it one here right sini tadi pun tak ada kan kita tak jumpa pun simbol tangent tu sama juga dengan sini so kita kena ulang balik macam tadi so control button press control button do not release that button yet remember jangan lepaskan uh, button control button sebut so, ok you just still need to press that button control button then right click on your mouse uh, bila dah keluar object snap punya shortcut ni baru you boleh release control button alright pada keyboard then tangent this is over here jangan risau kalau macam dia oh um, terpergi ke sana kan alamak pergi sana don't worry as long as you pick it around here jangan pilih sini eh ok so then another third one is this one press control button right click tangent I'm going to pick it around here jangan macam saya cakap tadi jangan bagian sini pasal kita nak buat bulatan pada bagian sini kan so somewhere around here just click nak dia akan automatic do it for you alright ok kalau macam tadi saya cakap kalau kita buat kat uh, bahagian luar ni ok, bahagian luar ni pula kan so, control button, right click and nak tunjuk, tunjuk contoh lah, eh. tangent let's have you, be somewhere around here tangent, somewhere around here katakan saya tak pilih sini ya, eh. saya pilih yang kat sini and the third one right click, tangent, somewhere around here nampak, dia buatkan pilihan luar kita tadi, yang masa first tadi kita tak nak create bulatan ni kat, uh, kat bahagian luar kan so kita, kita nak buat kat bahagian dalam ni, tengah-tengah ni, antara ketiga-tiga antara ketiga-tiga uh, circle ni kan, so that's why kita kena find out dia punya tangent point around this area around this area around this area, melainkan kalau kita nak buat uh, luar lah pasal apa, dia akan automatically, autocad ni dia akan automatically detect for us, our tangent here, here and here sama juga dengan untuk bulatan yang, yang besar ni alright so uh, that's about 2 points as well as 3 points of... ok guys now uh, let us move to the next which is tangent tangent radius ok tangent tangent radius and tangent 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 so what does it mean so let's say <coughs> ini semua saya dah tunjukkan tadi juga lah tangent tangent radius ni ok katakan I'm going to have this one 1 2 I just simply draw without any without any uh, dimension ok so tangent tangent radius so I'm going to click tangent tangent radius okay, tangent tangent then we need to specify the radius click this one then bring dulu our cursor kat sini eh. uh, kalau dah ada macam ni tak apa kalau tak ada keluar tangent punya simbol ni barulah kita nak kena pergi control button right click batu baru kita pergi pilih tangent kan alright so kalau dia ada tak apa so tangent tangent radius tangent ok tangent then somewhere around here tangent so, let's say the radius I'm going to make it 100 100 ok right kita akan keluar ok so buatnya tangent tangent kita specify dia punya radius tadi ok radius tadi so that uh, katakan kali ni saya nak buat kata lain dia tak semestinya ni jadi as long as lain pun kalau arc atau bulatan menyentuh lain pun dia tangent kan so let's see I'm going to have like this ok so katakan now I'm going to use tangent tangent radius tangent ok as long as don't worry eh, you boleh click dekat area ni dia akan automatically detect for us tangent just simply click around here then radius at least I'm going to make it 100 also 100 meters so dia akan automatically detect for us so ini tangent dia ni tangent dia so dia punya radius adalah uh, 100 alright so itu berkenaan dengan katakan nak buat sekali lagi eh tangent tangent radius this time here tangent tangent radius let's see now I'm going to make it 300 tangent ini dia besar lah ok dia akan besar so dia automatically detect for us walaupun dia tak bersentuhan ni kenapa kita dah pilih tangent ni tangent ni ter, uh, 
uh, dan seterusnya kita dah specify dimension kan ok radius dia so dia akan ikut radius kita radius kita kerana apa kalau kita tengok eh, kalau, let's, kalau ini dipanjang kalau dia panjang ni dia akan menyentuh istilah akan menyentuh uh, that's why kita tangent tangent and radius now I'm going to show to you how are we going to apply the uh, tangent 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 so I'm going to move Okay, click move this one, move, and I'm going to set, I'm going to move this one, enter, and just simply uh, pick anywhere, my first point, so let's say I'm going to pick here, and I'm going to move it somewhere around here, and then I'm going to create tangent, 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 okay, so tangent, 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 so just simply, ada tak, okay, kalau ada tak apa, tangent, sini ada tak, okay, ada tangent, and then here, tangent, tangent, alright, okay, same as well as over here tangent ni, ni sama je lebih kurang kalau kita nak buat 3 point ni eh, dengan tangent ni sama je semua ni dalam dia mention dah bentuk point tapi ni dah bentuk tangent tangent ni sama je sebenarnya ok penggunaan dia lebih kurang sama je lebih kurang sama ok so tangent 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 so let's say I'm going to make it here dengan kat luar ni pula tangent 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 sama kan macam yang tadi 3 point out eh sorry 3 point circle kan sama kan uh, it's just that for uh, this application you can tangent 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 same as well as over here if I proceed with tangent 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 so I can just simply ok kalau ada tak apa ok just simply click tangent tangent and tangent there you are alright so uh, tangent 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 maknanya dia akan cari tangent 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 lah alright ok guys so that's all about circle uh, in uh, AutoCAD so basically as what I mentioned to you just now that yang banyak kita guna pakai ni dua lah center dia atau uh, radius ataupun diameter uh, okay, kalau saya, saya banyak pakai center radius eh. sometimes in certain case bawa saya akan pakai center diameter tengok uh, bergantung, okay, depend on the application bergantung kepada apa yang kita lukis tersebut okay. tetapi all these are supporting uh, methods di dalam kita punya AutoCAD because sometimes juga kita akan menggunakan any of these this uh, method in order to create our circle ok guys so thank you for attention uh, I will see you uh, again uh, in our next coming video thank you very much